finally we're outside in this bitch, bro. What a motherfucking morning, y'all. We had Chick Fil A with it. You feel me? We in Anaheim, I think. Are we? In, we in Anaheim, huh? It don't look like it though. Nah, not really. It's like I, have I know. You feel me? The, yeah, you were the, I'm not doing girl, that. You were the first ready today. She want to be like, okay. Oh, <laughs> like, Allergies, okay. bro. Yeah. Yeah, you see it. Yeah. Yeah, we got our box. Did you get yeah. a box? I got a box. I got a box. We got a box and a we pen. We got a box. And a pen, because we like and that. And a pen. Because we like that. Yeah. Yeah. For Costco Teletrip. Bro, it's hot as Christian breaking the ice. It's hot as fuck, y'all. It's like 100 degrees. There's like these mountains are so pretty, <laughs> and then the mountains over there have snow on them. That's like where I live. Well, not exactly, but those are that's how it is by my crib. But over here. 100 plus degrees it was so hot i warmed up i warmed up this carnitas and rice that my girlfriend and her mom gave me i warmed it up by putting it on my dashboard tell me why it's hot tell me why it's hotter than if you put that motherfucker in the microwave we getting set up y'all we trying cody got the fan doing what need to do hey, you gonna have to let me use that in a second okay it's hot it's hot mm. like that's how hot it is out here. Out here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm in this tent. It's hot as fuck. It's like 100 degrees. Yeah. It's the blanket. Now we outside. We're finna go get a tour of the grounds right now. It's day zero, by the way. Hot as fuck. I'll, uh, I'll spot you something. <laughs> something but like i had to get up to go use the restroom at the porta potty so i woke up and then it was uncomfortable this mattress she's cute but she doesn't give what my mattress gives Are you walking over there or what? Cake, almond butter, and banana, a little snack. Fucking tired, y'all. 
Okay. We fit it though. This fucking tent is so hot, yo. Fuck this tent, bro. Minimalism is gone. Yeah. So we are out here doing like big buckles. Right. Look at everybody, y'all. Lana and this bitch. You know we have like. Yeah. Breathe. 
I'm down. We at headquarters. <laughs> Y'all, tell me why. I'm giving model vibes for real. They were telling me I should be a model. Like, I really am though. What is this? The Coke Studio? Yes. Yeah, go, go over here. No. Wait, go here. Which one is that? The party. The the party in my living room. And it's living there. No, I'm clever, but they ain't never got no leverage. Uh. Rocking pro clubs, yeah, the shirt fitted. Hey, I ain't never lacking, you know I come with it. Hey, you want my number? I might get your ass the digits. Hey, I know I'm dripping, yeah, I know my fit is sickening. Hey. I'm so sick. I'm gonna get you. Don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you. We're gonna be, we're gonna be friends. Kid Cuddy? Are you on a Huh? Kanye West, you know? Bjork? Bjork, nerd. I'm gonna be up there, bitch. The cure yeah. would've been insane. That's what I fucking said. I love the cure. Ready? That's that booty. Not, not you got it. Not you having me continuing to... To say it? Yeah. Cause it's catching, right? Wow, 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 wow. That's that booty. He wearing a picture. Hi, Jay. Is it Jay or G? What is her name? I'm slow. Jay? I got hella hoes trying to fuck me and that does. I got hella hoes trying to fuck you. Go. Okay, thank you. Hello? Hello. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Fuck you. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm done. Period. Yeah. experience has been me doing like shit that I don't really normally do and I want to say shout out to like my mentors and everybody like Juice, Navy, everyone, everyone that's been supporting me, everyone in this community is so supportive like people that I've been around are just so supportive so uh, you know I want to say thank you to me for trusting myself enough to come out here but I also want to say thank you to everyone that like tells me for me not to be shy when I'm being shy and tells me to just be that handsome ass nigga that I am and be authentically myself in the background but yeah we going out oh. you look famous as fuck do you see girl next door really? what it records hey yeah i can't record me yeah. no i love it you just have yeah. to give me time where are you going but do i look good yeah I'm can i get it can i get a video with you yeah you can period
hand on your shoulders. I met your exes, guys. Tyler was hard as fuck. I'm fucking cooked. Are you cooked? I'm cooked. <laughs> you fucking cooked, bro. He's lazy. 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 That shit's a vibe, bro. Like, I keep waking up, and so much shit is happening that I didn't expect to happen. Cody back there somewhere. Let me get the sun on me. See a fit. I'm gonna get actual. Damn. The fit is fitting though. You feel me? Niggas out here with skirts. Don't play. Yeah. 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 Designer shades, uh, that's right. Bitches hate, but I get paid. Honey, 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 lay your waist around with the open. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's your release. Yeah. Man, let's go, man. Got no choice. Hags. I should say two hours. <clears throat> yes, sir. -y. <clears throat> we am where, where Frank, where Frank live. Damn, I should have asked you, bro. They didn't live in Palm Springs. We ain't in Palm Springs. We in Palm Springs. We ain't in This is Palm Springs. I thought it was nice. Rancho Mirage. It's this, like probably it's says Palm Springs. Like... Yeah. This is a massage place. Un but the dispensary is right there, the Palm Royale. Wow, I wasn't even recording. Wasn't meant to be. All right, let me turn the music down. Basically, I'm gonna tell y'all my takeaways. Like, first of all, I just wanna say, Thank you. I'm gonna put this on my thing so it could be a little more natural. But um, yeah, y'all. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Like, actually, cap. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Y'all being yourselves really has like allowed me to be myself. What do I mean by that? I mean like seeing everybody just be their true authentic self. Like 
reinforce the fact that it's okay for me to do that. And another thing that I really want to bring up is the fact that, like, I know I'm a content creator, not even just a content creator, but I'm an artist, a model, free, like, I do it all. And I feel like I know that I could do it as a career, but sometimes I feel like, not that I can't, but I feel like I don't have that support. But, like, being in that group, I really felt like I had the support to be whoever I wanted to be. And, like, you feel me? Like, it was, it was okay. It was more than okay. That was what you're supposed to be doing. And I'm not going to lie, sometimes in my own family, I don't get that support to do what I want to do. Um, and that's not a knock to anyone. I just mean that sometimes, like, I, it's kind of tricky because, like, people around you, you can tell them, like, hey, you know, I want to build a bridge. And they're going to be like, okay, um, just make sure you do everything else. I want you to be safe. But, like, they might not go and encourage me to build that bridge. But I feel like family should support you to go build that bridge even if they don't know if you actually gonna build that bridge and i'm not gonna lie my family has supported me in that way and i think that this new family that i've created just supports me even more in that way um probably i don't know if they even know that they're supporting me in that way but they are being in my videos encouraging me to go model to do this to do that to just be myself to dress how i want taking pictures of me telling me that it's okay to dress like this telling me that it's okay to feel like this all these emotions all these things like that is 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 beyond the support that i need but um yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video because I enjoyed just being out there with these group of people, with these individuals, with my family that I freaking adore. And I think and I know we're going to go up together. And uh, this is kind of the tip of the iceberg. I just want to say that I believe this video is going to be um, something, something that's going to shake shit up. I think that especially the queer community, we really are not highlighted and it's time that we're highlighted. For the first time ever in this experience, I felt like the majority. For the first time ever, we were the majority. Um, and I mean like in one space that I can see all of us together, you feel me? Like the queer black population, we were together and we were the majority. I don't know how many times that I've actually experienced that. And to be honest, it felt amazing to have so many people like you, just talking to you, kiki in with you, like vibing with you, people that support you and they look like you and they they feel you on that level is amazing. This experience has honestly been something that I cannot even put into words. Like I got back on, what was it, Monday night, y'all? Tuesday and Wednesday, I really just had to rest and sit the fuck down. I got sick as hell Tuesday. I got sick because I just wasn't sleeping. It was so many emotions. My body was just overloaded. It needed to rest. So for me, when my body needs to rest, I'll just get sick because if I'm sick, I lay the fuck down. Like I can't do anything. And that's what I did. And I just spent the whole day thinking. Um, I cried a lot. I remember I was watching Lo Yachty. I started crying, one, because I saw myself in Lo Yachty and the fact that I can be on that stage and I will be on that stage. Two, because of the fact that, yes, I'm black and I feel like it's just so powerful seeing black people at a level that's, like, not expected. Um, and especially black queer people. Oh, like, I don't, I don't think there was a single... There might have been some black queer people on stage. Maybe they're just not voicing the fact that they're black and queer. But, you know, I want to be that voice on stage, a person that is black and queer, sharing my art, you know, modeling my body, showing a body of a queer person, a trans queer person, and just showing that we exist. Because visibility, honestly, is power. When you walk into a festival and you see other queer people like you or you see other people like you that express themselves and don't have any fears in expressing themselves, it empowers you. Um, queer Plus, we're not just a group that comes through and you know we're just here for fucks no we have a purpose we are there for a purpose we are there to empower other people that are like us that maybe don't have the voice yet to step out and say hey this is how i identify not even how i identify this is who i am um so yeah queer plus this is for everybody watching let me face track like i know y'all watching this because i fuck with y'all and y'all fuck with me so yeah, keep doing you, y'all. Like, we going up. This video is the ice, tip of the iceberg. Um, I'm taking this full throttle. I am an artist um, in all aspects, videographer, editor. I do it all. And it's not even to just keep saying, like, oh, I do this, I do that. It's just to mean that, you know, this is what I want to do and this is what I'm going to do. I feel like for a long time, even, like, for instance, right, um, I knew that I wanted to transition medically, be on T, all this. I told people that I did, and they'd be like, damn, that's kind of wild. And I understand because 
it is wild to them but i saw the vision and look at me now i did it and i'm so glad that i did that and took that route and became not even became this person but affirmed myself and just kept evolving that's all it is so now in this light i'm like okay if i can do that you know i tell people i want to be a youtuber i want to be an artist i i want to make a living off this i'm going to help my family off of this you know it sounds crazy at first but i see the vision and <laughs> The fact that I see the vision is that's that's all I need to know. Like, that's all I need to know. It's been done before, it can be done again. Y'all, if you see a vision, don't listen to nobody. If you see a vision, that means it's already done. If you see a vision, that means it's already you can already do it. If you don't see a vision, then that means you can't do it. But if you see a vision, if something in your heart, if something in your soul, something in your spirit tells you that you can execute something and create a life for yourself, then create that shit. You feel me? I'm going with a vision, y'all. Everything you see me put out, everything you see me do, this body, even, look, like, y'all, this body, this this body that I'm in today was a vision. This 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 is a vision. When I was pre-testosterone, when I was 17, 16, 15, and I started this journey, it was a vision. I didn't know at 15, 16 that I would... I I didn't even I didn't know what I was gonna look like. I know I remember I went at top surgery, and I had no idea how how my chest was gonna look. I just had to have faith and just go with it. I remember on the surgery like I, when I went into surgery, one of my biggest fears was like, oh I'm gonna get I'm gonna have a fucked up chest. But I literally just went into it, and now I'm here. And like, I think I have like if not, I'm not even gonna compare it to other people's chest. But I I'm so happy with my chest. I'm so happy with my body. I didn't know how tea was gonna affect me, but like, look at me. I'm beautiful. I'm I'm a beautiful man slash woman, and I also want to say a shout out to my mom for saying that in those pictures that I, um the Coachella picture like my favorite Coachella picture. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to watch the video again because like clearly go on my social medias you'll see which picture is is the picture if we're gonna be honest, but. My mom said that she could see both genders, like my male side and my female side, and that's beautiful as fuck. And honestly, it was so affirming because I transitioned, yes, to be this masked person that I am, but like I'm still feminine. Like I'm still a female, and I will never disregard that 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 portion of myself. So yeah, y'all, just be whoever the fuck you want to be, yo. Like do whatever you want to do. And when I say that, like. The real ones gonna know what I mean. That does not mean go out and start doing the wrong things. It means go with that vision that you see, the vision that's gonna feed your family, the vision that's gonna make you feel like someone, the vision that's gonna empower you, the vision that's gonna fulfill everything that you want to fulfill in your lifetime. That's what I mean when I say do what the fuck you wanna do. Because it doesn't feel good living confined. You know, if you have the chance, the opportunity, create it and run with your vision. You know what I mean? A lot of times I know people say like, tough it out, tough it out. But like, nah, and I feel like you can tough it out for the right thing. Like editing a video late at night or just editing a video all day, trying to tough that out to finish the video, that's happy for me. Like I'm, I'm, like, I'm happy for that. I'm like, okay, yeah, at the end of this, I'm gonna have a sick video. When I get the thumbnail together, I'm like, ooh, this video is fire. I drop it, I get that dopamine rush, fire. But you don't have to tough something out that's not bringing you any joy at all. You feel me? You don't have to tough something out that's not bringing you any joy at all. That's like staying in a relationship that you know is dead because don't give up yet. When you know in your heart of hearts that something is done, it's done. Don't question yourself. And I know it's easier said than done. But, like, we really got to get in tune with listening to our spirit and deciphering our spirit telling us what to do versus what the world says and versus what outer chatter says. And honestly, I'm on that process myself. So, like, the tips that I get along this journey, I will definitely share with y'all because there's a voice. There, there's a voice that we know is us. There's a voice that we know is original, organic. There's a voice inside of us. And this experience with everyone here has strengthened that for me. And I'm, I'm, I'm hearing that voice a little bit louder. It's about it's about 75% clear. There's still that 25% of chatter that I'm just like, damn, you know, what's, what's right? What's wrong? But at the end of the day, y'all, follow your heart follow your soul i appreciate y'all for watching subscribe to my channel if you want to stick with me in the journey this is not over um saint laurent christian is just getting started again god bless everyone i love everyone 
and I'm so excited to, to just go up from here. I have no idea, you know, and uncertainty is kind of fire. I have no idea what's going to be after this. But all I know is right now, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And, um, yeah, Coachella 2024, success. Grateful to have just been a part of it, to experience it. Yeah. Later, y'all.